a Jeep Patrol. Hey yo, we smoke until he get high, baby. Feeling fine, feeling just fine. So a quick tidbit that I forgot to mention earlier. I'm sure you noticed that I'm wearing glasses right now and I'm not later. Anyways, I just forgot to say please subscribe if you are interested in my content and make sure you put those notifications on so that way you get notified whenever I post. Sometimes I have issues so sometimes I do have to take a break from you know researching and recording in order to deal with that so just make sure you subscribe put your notifications on i will be putting my patreon and instagram in the description so make sure you follow me on those if you want to become a patron that would be awesome but you totally don't have to i understand money's tight your girl broke i currently don't have a job because of my pelvic problems but like if you like this video subscribe if you're interested in seeing more content from me and also make sure you put those notifications on make sure to follow me on instagram that's probably the first place I'll be posting any news as far as when the next video is coming out. I'll make sure to leave that in the description. I will also be putting my Patreon in the description. I do try to make posts about when new videos are coming out for the public on Patreon. So even if you're not able to support me financially, you'll be able to go on there and follow me and see whenever I post updates on when the next video is coming out. All right, back to the video. Welcome to the first installment of a series I like to call Canaland. So in this series, we will be exploring different forms of cannabis, including CBD and Delta 8, as that is what is legal where I am. But you know, feel free to partake in Delta 9 THC if that is legal where you are. So before we begin, I would like to say I'm sorry for background noises. I have two dogs and one cat, so if you hear a sound, it's probably them. Also, my eyes are like really puffy. That is because spring is my nightmare. Okay, maybe not my nightmare. My nightmare we'll get into in a little bit, actually. But yeah, spring is bad and I don't have allergy eye drops, so my eyes are just a little puffy right now. But that's fine. Anyways, so I highly encourage those of you who, you know, whatever form of cannabis is legal, where you live, I highly encourage you to kind of seek out different products and try them out because it's really been helping me personally. And I think it could help a lot of people. I mean, there's just, there's a sort of stigma around cannabis that's really fucking annoying. Like cannabis really just makes you want to eat and take a nap. If it's a sativa, then sometimes it'll make you want to like clean your house. But in my experience, that's about it. Anyways, first we're going to begin with a few products that I personally really love. So earlier while I was recording another video, I had me a cup of this delicious Mighty Matcha. So it's ceremonial grade matcha mixed with CBD. So awesome. I fucking love the Brothers Apothecary. So far, this brand has been really good to me and I love it. But this is great for if you are like me, where you're not a morning person, but you have too much anxiety to be a coffee drinker. This would be good. Not every morning, of course, because matcha is something that you have to be careful with but it's a good thing to have you know just on those days where you really need a pick-me-up but you don't want to worry about like getting the jitters from coffee matcha is actually so it's ground so it comes in the form of a powder basically you just take about a teaspoon and put it in your bowl and i'm not talking about this kind of bowl an actual bowl so you put about a teaspoon in a bowl with a little bit of hot water. You want to be careful about the temperature because it is a green tea, so you don't want to burn it. I recommend, as far as water temperature, not quite boiling, but like if you heat your water on the stove, make sure you get a nice steam going and then 
that should be a good temperature. I usually judge by like the steam. Anyway, so with matcha, you just put about a teaspoon in a bowl and you grab a whisk. There are traditional bamboo whisks and the Brothers Apothecary also offers those as well. I personally already had one, but theirs looks pretty cool too. It looks pretty cool. It's a bamboo whisk, so it's awesome. And you just whisk it up. Traditionally, you want to use a Z pattern and just kind of make sure it's good and mixed and then you just add that to more water personally so like what i did earlier i heated up some milk instead of water and kind of i got my teaspoon of matcha personally i like to sift the matcha through another strainer like any tea strainer really will work if it has small enough holes but i like to sift it just so it's lighter and it makes it a little bit easier to to mix it up without getting clumps because you don't really want like just a clump of matcha that's not that great as a clump but anyway so i just put a little bit of milk into a bowl with about a teaspoon of the matcha i sifted it out personally i like to blend my matcha with hot chocolate so i added about two teaspoons of hot chocolate and or hot chocolate mix and whisked it up real good added it to a cup with more milk so it's you know more full because when you're whisking up the matcha you you really only want to use about like an ounce of water just a tiny bit just enough to where it whisks up nicely and then you just add it to more water or in this case milk so that was really fucking good i just finished that so good i personally love that this one one has CBD in it as well because for me I can't have too too much caffeine because of my anxiety so I have to instead of like having an espresso shot or an energy drink or whatever when I'm like feeling like a zombie I need to do something that's like still got caffeine but not too too much matcha since it's stone ground and you're actually drinking the full leaf you are actually getting more caffeine and antioxidants out of this than you would any other tea. Any other tea. Because you're actually drinking the leaf. So with this, you have to be very careful. I would say start out with a teaspoon. If you feel like you need more than a teaspoon per cup, then just like kind of go up a little bit, but not too much. Matcha is something you have to be really careful about. If you have problems with like anxiety and things like that that are connected to caffeine intake because just like coffee, it'll make that anxiety spike. It's very caffeinated depending on how, how strong you make it. So like how strong I made it is probably not quite quite a cup of coffee but it, it's pretty up there just with one teaspoon so it's very caffeinated but it's also got a lot of antioxidants so that's really good and it's really good for health green tea in general is great for so much honestly i might make like a separate series about tea because i just all of my tea knowledge i, I worked in a tea store so i have like so much more knowledge of tea than I already did, and I already had a lot of knowledge. Not to toot my own horn, but I like tea. Anyways, that's my review on the Mighty Matcha from the Brothers Apothecary. I personally love it. I love having CBD in my matcha. It really helps to kind of keep the anxiety at bay and allow me to have the matcha in like, you know, that wake up feel energized without being like <laughs> so yeah mighty much okay the next thing that i have here from brothers apothecary again just because i really like this brand this is my first brand review i have the oolong passion so the Brothers Apothecary makes some really cool CBD teas as well as like supplements and things. This particular tea I really love. It's very floral. It's not too heavy. Personally, oolong is my favorite type of tea. So like there's four types of tea, white, green, oolong, and black. Of course, there's also yellow tea and red tea, but those are like... Yellow tea is the same plant red tea is completely different but anyway so like the differences in the types of tea is just really the process that they go through and like the 
amount of oxidation. Oolong is more oxidized than like so on the scale of oxidation it goes white tea is the least and then green tea and then oolong and then black tea. So like oolong is the step before black tea and oolong's traditionally an after dinner tea. So it's really good for relaxation as well as digestion. And I personally have IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome. And I, you know, I use oolong kind of keep the regular. I know that might be a little TMI, but whatever. The oolong passion, though, is really fucking good. And as someone who absolutely loves oolongs, I highly recommend it. Just be careful because oolongs will, it they do help with digestion. So, like... Don't make it too strong unless you, you really need to go to the bathroom. But they come in little pouches. Like, I can... I just recently cut my nails. I hate when you have to open something right after you cut your nails. Okay, but like, this is the kind of package it comes in. So it's just a little bag. I personally, I reuse mine. I have found that I can get about three steeps out of each of these bags so like I could make three cups of tea out of one bag as opposed to just one cup of tea. Personally when it comes to tea and re-steeping I've always said steep it until you don't like it because that way you get the most out of it like as long as you don't burn your tea the first time around. The second time around is still pretty good slightly lighter. Third time around it's going to be a little bit lighter and it's going to be lighter as you continue reusing the bag because you got most of the flavor out in the first try. However when there's like teas that have fruits and things like that involved I don't recommend receiving because you really get all of the flavor out in the first try. Anyways this particular tea comes in so like you can get either the one bag amount or I got the three bags because I really like this one and it's it's just it's so good. But um there's also a like I think there's like a 20 bag amount, which believe me, I would get if I could, but uh your girl broke. So this is why I'm broke. <laughs> because I have a lot of pain. I suffer from chronic pelvic pains due to endometriosis and polycystic ovary syndrome. So I, I just, I've got a lot. Like I recently had surgery a few weeks ago and I'm recovering really well. Everything is looking good. I'm, I'm starting to get back to normal now. But these products have really been helping me so much throughout my chronic pains daily and the recovery pains from surgery because oh buddy like once I finished those medicines that they gave me I was I was like hoping that my next package from the Brothers Apothecary would come in really soon because I had ordered this Oolong Passion in this last batch that I got the matcha I had from the previous order that because I don't use it daily. I only use it sometimes when I really need it. But I also needed more of these. So like if you can... Oh, I'm sorry. My nails look so bad. If you can see that. Um, so this is turmeric uh, circumin. I, I, I don't know how to say that. And black pepper. As well as CBD. So... This is their immunity blend, and I these are actually tablets. So, like, that's what they look like. They're very orange uh, from the turmeric, but these are really fucking good. Depending on my pain level, I take one every morning with my morning medicines. If I'm having real bad pains, I'll take one at night with my nightly medicines as well. But these have been helping so much. They've also been really good on the immunity front. Like, this has been pushing back sinus infections, like, all spring. <laughs> I had one sinus infection, like, right when spring started. And then after that, I got, 
I got this to try out a little while after that sinus infection and like I could tell that I was coming down with one a few times and this just kind of like knocked it away. <laughs> this was just like nope! But this also is really good with helping with my pains. I like to blend my medications um, as we'll, we'll just call these medications because that's what they are. So what I like to do is I will take one of these in the morning. Sometimes I'll take one at night. I will have this if I if I like you know if I need to go to the bathroom I'll, I'll have my oolong to help with that. It, it really kind of helps move things along. Or if, if I'm feeling like extra sluggish, maybe I had to take Benadryl late the night before, or maybe like I, I just woke up with extra low energy levels because I have energy issues, I will make me a cup of Mighty Matcha mixed with some hot chocolate. And it, it helps so much. But also, we can't forget the herb flower farm so I personally I just go to like my local CBD dispensary and they also have Delta 8 THC so what I do is normally I'll have like I'll take my CBD products you know drink CBD tea throughout the day sometimes and I'll always have a bowl ready so right now I have Delta 8 eight THC moon rocks in here which oh that shit packs a punch if you haven't tried moon rocks you need to they it's great it's great it lasts it it's actually it lasts a little bit longer than regular flower and so what it is is it's basically it's kind of like hashish it's it's basically flower Covered in oil, covered in heat. So that sh like, it really packs a punch. When I say it packs a punch, it packs a punch. Like, the first time, I, and, like, even every time, really, it doesn't really feel like you're inhaling anything until either you inhale too much and just start coughing, or you exhale and then you start coughing, <laughs> and it really packs a punch, but I, I love the moon rocks, I really love it, I also have some, um, Delta 8 flower that I like, um, sometimes I'll do, like, a, this bowl right now is just moon rocks, but sometimes I do mostly flower and then top it with a little bit of moon rocks, really good. Now, with moon rocks, though, I, I don't recommend using your grinder because it, it is very sticky so like I I just kind of take a knife and like you know <laughs> do that so yeah there's a few of my CBD products I've also tried uh, a few other of the brothers apothecary teas so wonderful so wonderful everyone that I've tried so far is just incredible. I even tried their peppermint hot chocolate. That's really fucking good. It's so good. Like, that inspired me to get a, a like, thing of, like, silly cow peppermint hot chocolate. <laughs> and I sometimes mix that with my Mighty Matcha. But, yeah, Brothers of Carry is such a great company. Their products are awesome. Like, they they work. They help me out. I can walk when I have this shit. <laughs> Normally it's hard for me to walk. I'm like kind of waddling or like, you know, hobbling. But you know, I'll be looking like an old lady, like halfway hunched over and waddling across the apartment. But like the, this stuff, this stuff is really fucking good. And I really shout out to Brothers Apothecary because their products are amazing. I've also tried some... Edibles. Oh, yes, we have to talk about edibles. I know these are sort of edibles, drinkables, I guess. But, so, I really like the Delta 8 
gummies and chocolates. Those are the two edibles that I've tried so far as far as Delta 8 goes. As far as CBD goes, I want that shit in everything. <laughs> like, like, if it has CBD in it, it's, it's instantly better, in my opinion. But that's just because I have chronic pains, like I said before, and like, the more CBD, the better. But for me, personally... I need a little bit of THC to mix with the CBD in order for it to work the best way that it can, I guess. So, like I said, I'll take my CBD medicine, I'll drink CBD teas, but also I like to make sure that I have a bowl of Delta 8 around and loaded so that way, you know, if I need a hit, I'll, I'll take it. Most of the time what I do is like I'll have my morning smoke and then kind of throughout the day I'll just like take periodic hits. So like kind of the morning sm smoke kind of gets me up there and able to move and then like once it starts kind of dipping I'll take another hit and it'll go a little bit up and yeah, so it really it really helps with my pains and stuff. Also, bath bombs. Oh my god. If you haven't tried a CBD bath bomb or CBD bath salts, you need to. You absolutely need to. I don't care who you are, you got some kind of pain. Everybody does. At some point in their life, everybody will feel physical pain. And if you take... A CBD bath, oh, it just melts away. It's it's so relaxing. I've got, it's like bath salts from the Brothers Apothecary. And it's like the, um, it's like a sleep blend. So it's a mixture of like chamomile and CBD. And it's just, oh, it's so relaxing. And it, it really helps with any sort of pains that are going on. So like, you know, sometimes I'll be feeling so good because of the CBD and the Delta 8 that I'll be doing a lot of stuff around the house and then all of a sudden <laughs> it hits me why I shouldn't have been doing that. And and then I like kind of sit down and have another bowl and those baths really do help. So like sometimes I'll wake up the next morning and I'll feel like I ran a fucking marathon and it's like... <laughs> And I'm just like, oh yeah, right. I was doing a lot of things and I don't normally have the ability to do a lot of things. <laughs> so that's what happened. But the bath salts or a bath bomb definitely helps with that so much. Before I had surgery, I had gotten a pack of gummies, of Delta 8 gummies. So after surgery, because it was on you know, the pelvic region, and I didn't want to be coughing from a bowl, I would have gummies. But also, for me personally, I have problems with appetite. A lot of times, I'm just not hungry, and I, I can't force myself to eat when I'm not hungry, because then I'll get nauseous. So the gummies really helped with that. Like, I don't always get the munchies from, like, the Delta 8, but the gummies, I always get the munchies from the gummies. And they're fucking good. So I definitely highly recommend them. I also recommend, I've had the chocolates. The chocolates help as well. When I have gummies or chocolates, usually I, what I'll do is I'll have like, at night, after I have my last bowl or my last hits of the night before going to bed, I'll have a gummy or a chocolate if I have those. So that way... When I sleep, because, you know, after a while, the the bowl that you have before bed is going to wear off. And it's probably going to wear off before you wake up. For me, that means that the pains are going to get stronger as I sleep. And I'm going to wake up a lot in pain. And that happens a lot. So when I have gummies or chocolates, I'll, I'll just eat one of those, like, literally right before going to sleep. And... That kind of helps extend the length of time that I'm able to sleep without without the pain being so bad that it kind of like interferes with 
like the dreams that I'm having because I'll be having like random ass dreams all my dreams are super random but like I'll be having a random ass dream and then all of a sudden within the dream I just fucking collapse and like am, am rushed to the hospital or something and I wake up and I'm just in a lot of pain so yeah so I I mean sometimes when it's when it's bad I'll have I'll, I'll make sure to have the bowl right by the bed if need be but Definitely, I highly recommend trying out different CBD products and Delta 8 products and just see what works for you because it it really is different based on, you know, your body chemistry and things like that. And I have been doing more research into like the, the scientific side of things, different studies that have been done, especially relating to problems that I have like endometriosis and cannabis and it's like so far a lot of the studies are looking really fucking good like I would say there's not really that many medicines that like scientifically help with a lot of different things so like cannabis it helps with yes my chronic physical pains but it also helps with things like the anxiety that comes from the pain that I'm always in and you know the state of the world and it helps with things like anxiety, depression, both of which I have personally experienced many times, constantly. And like, it just, it, it helps with a lot of things. And I, I really want to use this, this Canaland series to kind of explore different, not just different products and different ways to ingest the cannabinoids. But also just to like kind of, you know, have fun with it. See what works for me. See what works for you guys. Feel free to leave any suggestions down below for like any brands that you really like or anything like that. I personally really like to try different things, but I I will always, I, I will always be a fan of the Brothers Apothecary because their shit is good. Their shit really fucking helps me. And they have so many teas. Like I, I am such a huge tea freak. And I just love that they have a, a nice variety too. And, and the thing is like, also, with these, they don't, they don't even have really much of a cannabis taste. So like, if you don't really like the flavor of cannabis but you like the benefits of it these would be really good because they there are so many other things in these teas that give it a better flavor if you don't like the flavor of cannabis I personally do it's, it's a very mild very very small amount of cannabis flavor but very good on the CBD front they also have some really fucking good honey I've had their lavender honey, and let me tell you, anything with lavender in it is yes for me, <laughs> and then, like, on top of that, it's got CBD, and it's honey, and I just, like, I had to try it when I saw it, and it's absolutely delicious. I, I mean, I don't recommend eating it by itself, because it does, it does have, um, a, a kind of cannabis flavor if you eat it by itself. I've tried it by itself when I first got it. But I do recommend adding it to a tea. Even if it's not like a CBD tea, adding a little bit of CBD would help. Plus honey is really good for like allergies and things. So like I know local honey is best for allergies, but really it any honey is good for the body. <laughs> so I really think that their products are just, they're so good. And like I recently... Got their limited edition Delta 8 honey. It's so good. I love it. It's it's wonderful. And I I actually added it to some tea the other day. And I just uh, actually I think I added it to this, the Oolong Passion. But it's it's really fucking good. And I I, I love it. Now I don't recommend drinking that when you have a, a bowl of moon rocks. Delta 8 honey plus moon rocks might be a little bit much. 
It almost was for me. <laughs> uh, I almost greened out, but I didn't. I only put a little bit of the honey in there, and you really, you only need a little bit of it. It's really fucking good. It's, it's so good. Uh, I just love tea. But anyway, so, like, I've kind of babbled on for long enough now. So, I would just like to say, if there's any suggestions, comments, whatever, just make sure to leave them in the comments below. I'll, I'll try to remember to put a link to the Brothers Apothecary website in the description. If not, they'll be like the first thing that pops up on Google when you search Brothers Apothecary. But they're really fucking good. I personally am like also on the email list, so I get, I get discounts sometimes. So that's fun. And they get good discounts too. Like I got... Let's see, the last package that I got from them, I got, this is the larger size of the capsules, by the way. The smaller size is like, I think, 21 capsules, and this one is 84. So I got the larger thing of capsules, plus the three bags of the Oolong Passion, the Delta 8 Honey. And whenever you order from them, they'll also send you like a tiny little sample of one of their honeys. So like you get a free little honey. So I got a sample of the lavender honey, which I'm kind of saving because I, I just I love that one so much that I want to save it to savor and, you know, make a perfect cup of tea for it. Hold on a second. Let me grab that. All right. So whenever you order from the Brothers Apothecary, or at least in my experience, they'll always send you like this little pack of honey. So it's got like, it's this little card. So it tells you what it is. This one's the lavender honey that I love so fucking much. And like the back of it, this is the actual like little, that's the package of honey. And it tells you, like, all the information. You even got, like, a QR code and stuff on there. And it's it's really cute. And it's really cool. I, I think they're a good company. I, I, I can see good things coming from them. I mean, I, I already have good things coming from them. But <laughs> I can, I, I could see this company going, going far. And um, I, I'm really happy to support them. I, I I love their products so much. And by the way, this is not at all sponsored by them. I just personally love their stuff. So yeah, that's, that's you know, my first video from Canaland here. And we will end it like the caterpillars in Wonderland. Bye! Mind hitting that bowl and getting real high, it'll help.